Raymond Burns has been picking up his grandkids from school ever since Springfield local schools cut their busing service to the state minimum. School officials say that's one of the cuts they had to make after voters rejected an operating levy in November. Secretarial hours have been reduced, maintenance personnel laid off. Thursday night, the school board held a public meeting to find out why the levy failed. They invited people to express their opinions. But I think the transportation thing is, is just a Boeing tactic. And that's exactly what Deb Lavalette of Holland did. She's part of the 60% who voted against the levy. So they're not thinking about the kids. I believe that the administrators and the school board are thinking about themselves only. School officials gave voter registration pamphlets to guests. They handed out surveys asking what types of levies voters would support. Certainly this is a real crisis and it needs to be dealt with quickly. Superintendent Michael O'Shea says the school board has sought public opinion after prior levies, but this time the forecast for the upcoming fiscal year is critical. We can't cut our way out of the deficits. Uh, it's clear in my mind that additional monies are required, along with additional cuts. Most of the people who spoke up Thursday were against the levy. That left Springfield School's parent Tracy Fountain in the minority. And the only way that we're going to get the money is by going to the people. But at Thursday's meeting, the people were still divided.